What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we are back. Good old John Thick to save the day. I'm gonna go knock out Mr. Pontiff. Show him what my katana can do. It's been a while. I wonder if I can get the parries off on Pontiff. <sighs> Eight Estus flask. Feels good. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It has been a while since I fought you. Oh, my God. Okay. That, that did not work out well at all. Damn, I'm out of practice. It's becoming very apparent that going from Neo back to Dark Souls, all of a sudden you're like, Where? I. Why am I so fat and slow? The thing is, like, especially the late game, Neo becomes such a immensely harder game in comparison. Like, where I'm at in Neo, the only thing I haven't finished is all of the Abyss. I've completed Way of the Neo, hardest difficulty. So the Abyss is all that's left. And, like, you get used to, like, you're, you're, I mean, you're obviously a lot faster in Neo. There's not even, you know, it's not even a discussion. You're way, way faster. But at the same time, it's like a single hit will kill you. And you're so used to, like, dodging with pinpoint precision. And then in comparison... Here, I'm like some fat tart that has shit for iframes. Leave me alone! remember Pontiff being this aggressive like I mean maybe it's just because it's been a while since I played Dark Souls and to be honest like since I've played Dark Souls 3 the last time I like fully played through the entire game all the bosses I've done like one and a half runs of Dark Souls the original we did like the full randomizer run and then I started doing like the drunk through run, but the the randomizer got messed up and the, the save got lost. Um I had the entire randomizer run of Dark Souls 2, and I've been just playing Neo, you know, interspersed between those two. And coming back to this, like I do not remember things being this difficult. Given my stat like I'm I mean, I was so like, I need 40 decks that my, my Vigor and my Endurance are both fucking shit. Like, I'm only like, tickling this guy.
If I can get like two clean fucking katanas. Oh no. Wait! Got him! Oh man. Hollow Thrall Axe plus two. Well, that'll be useful to keep in my offhand. Uh, boosting my luck later, but damn, that was so much harder than I thought it would be. Souls, yeah, but I should, let me go spend those souls, because I'm about to go into invasion, invasion hotspot over here. So the R1 weapon art seems better in general, like just, just about everything you fight. But for bosses, man, the, the bleed the proc from that R2 is... Well. Then touch mm. the duck cake that is tasty. I think I just need to keep pumping this. Like, the, the increase right there, like, that's huge. 40 points? 40 fucking points in health. Farewell, Ashen One. I just need to get my bigger up. I gotta hit the first. I thought it was, like, 20, but... Let's see, what else can I sell you? Deacons of the Deep. Sell it. Want that? Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Ashen one. Well, Figure is well, thirty okay. the first soft cap maybe. Yeah, I'm still getting forty points. Yeah, let's just get it up well, to thirty. Ashen one. All right, here we go. Invasion city. So the interesting thing is going to be Yorm, because there's two potential ways we're going to get past him. Either I'm going to find Storm Ruler somewhere, or I'm going to find his ashes. Like, killing Yorm is... So the thing is, like, Yorm might not drop his ashes, so there's really no reason for me to, like, rush over to try and, and fight him, you know? steel mask. Let's see how that looks. That might look better than my, uh, my chainmail helm. Uh, uh. I think it actually looks a lot more fashionable, but it makes me look, uh, like this looks more derpy. Some of the other choices. No. Let's wear that. I don't know. I like the look of this more. And I'll just get that crystal lizard later. More than likely, I'll end up dying at some point going through this. Whether it's to the assholes that shoot spells at me, or an invader, or whatever the case is. Somebody. I can slay her armor so Nice. Somebody in this area will get me. I'll be genuinely surprised if I get through to the next bonfire without dying. Um, I will want to go get do the deacon stuff, so maybe let's go do that. Go up this way. We'll go up this way. We'll kill all those guys. There. Yeah, there are two of you down there. Scythe. Such a disappointing weapon. Like, I had such high hopes for that weapon. I even, like, basically power leveled a build through the, the necessary bosses. 
to where I could like do the PvP in the arena and, and got all prepped up and double trouble. Great. Of course, it's right when I'm going to get the shortcut. We're already fucking invaded. Using Alito's Great Hammer. So we probably got a parry boy. Please. Is he baiting me or is two all he had? If he's the level to invade me, two is probably all the attacks he can get. Nope, he can get three. Oh shit! Oh. Look, look! Nope, he's got me. Damn it. I misjudged too early. I should have kept playing around until I saw him do the third swing and then played around that. To be honest, I'm probably going to get my ass whooped in PvP until I get my health higher. Like, without an Ember, my health is 905. With Ember, I'm probably like 1100. Like, it's just, I don't, I don't have fuck all for, for health right now. Which sucks, because right now, I would say, I mean, just about any weapon could kill me in three hits. And considering most weapons you get, like your general stun lock in Dark Souls 3 is two hits. Some weapons you can go a hit into a weapon arc to get a multi-hit. But two hits is you know, two-thirds of my fucking health. So I make one mistake and I'm on the verge of death already. Yes, I need a bigger. I'm going to get my ass beat by every single invader. And honestly, I think I'm just going to go through this area without using Embers. That's probably going to be the safer bet, because between the Aldrich Faithfuls and the regular invaders, this area is usually... I mean, I'd say this is probably the most invasion-heavy area of Dark Souls 3. Even post-release, and though the game is you know, dying down more, still the most invasion-heavy area by a pretty large margin, I'd imagine. How was everybody's Christmas? It's actually been like one of the more chill Christmases I've done. No travel. Um, I mean, obviously I'm recording this in advance, but the game plan at least is Christmas Eve, going over to Paige's parents' house and they're doing like a prime rib dinner type thing, which I love me some prime ribs, so I'm all about that. And then Christmas morning, we're going over to her grandmother's and they're making a big old thing of breakfast. And at night, she's going to her brother's house, but I'm not going to be there for that, just because I don't want to... I don't know. That's going to her grandmother's, and then her brother's on top of it. That's too much family for me. Oh, no. Are you, are you done? You're done chewing on me? Not to mention her brother, like, we're, we're out in Bellevue area, her brother's over in Cool Springs, so it takes, like, on an average, about 30 to 45 minutes to get to where he's at, and that's assuming it's not packed out the ass with holiday traffic, which, being that it's Christmas Day, you'll probably have a fair amount of people traveling. So I'm probably going to miss out on that one, but I'd rather enjoy my, my Christmas evening at home relaxing. Maybe I'll do a stream. I don't know. Like, anytime I'm not with family on Christmas, I always think it's nice to do a stream, just because I know there's a lot of people who are 
know, they're either stuck at school or they're overseas. Or they just don't have family anymore. So, uh, I feel like doing a stream on Christmas, it's always nice because it gives something to do to the folks that they don't have people to spend the holiday with. So it helps make things a little bit less lonely. Nothing. I really hate these guys. Why? Why do you just gotta sit here and throw fireballs at me nonstop? Is it because I murdered the deacons? Is this is this like the retribution I get? I completely forgot about how fucking ridiculous running katana attacks are. pretty smoothly. We're defenders of the Drang. really should put on that ring that reduces FP costs. Sit down, young man. Goodbye, beardless Jon Snow. down there. Giants. Brain guy's dead. Um, uh, let me try this. I really, really dislike fighting these things, but I want the bonfire and the basic reward for just joining Covenant. I'm gonna, it's gonna attract somebody. I want the extra health here. The other one's not coming after me. This is this would have been a lot harder if it was. I don't think they respawn. Hey buddy.
Shit! No, no. Two-handed. Thousand souls. Iron resin. Get this. Talk to you. Yeah, I'm an Aldrich. Trousers, which I already had. Damn, it sucks how many fucking duplicates I'm getting. And on that note, I know a couple people, for whatever reason, there's a couple of you guys in the comments that are like, might as well just restart, the save's fucked up. Like, you need to realize the way the game, the way the loot works, is it's not like seeded. Um, every time you get a piece of loot, it's randomly rolled out of a pool. So, when I talked to McDonnell, or whatever his name was, Let's say there's 300 items in the pool. One of those 300 items is going to come into my inventory. If the game were to crash before saving and I talk to him again, I could get something else. So, you know, it's impossible to, to miss something. In theory, if I really wanted to invest the time, which I wouldn't do this anyway because it would just be annoying, but I could, um, you know, if I were to basically just find an area to farm. I could just kill mobs for, you know, hours and hours and hours and eventually get every single drop in the game. So, it's impossible for me to miss, you know, an Estus shard or ashes or whatever. Picking up drops that I find obviously will make things faster because instead of only getting drops from enemies, I'm getting drops from enemies and things that I find in the world. But, you know, when there's a white piece of glowy loot on the ground, until I touch it, like until I touch this, right now this is nothing. And now it just turned into hard leather armor. That's how you need to think about loot with this randomizer. So even if you miss something, it doesn't matter because until you picked it up, didn't have an ID assigned to it. Bring night armor. Should look so good. So that's the main reason I've been telling people to just shut the hell up about loot, because, like I said, until until I pick it up, it doesn't fucking matter. It's not loot until I pick it up. It's just another shiny. One thing I'll never forget is how to parry Silver Knights. So many hours. So many hours spent farming those douchebags. Fuck, where is the parry timing for that? Whatever. Hydral Nighthound. 
That might look pretty good with my current fashion loadout. Kind of feels pointless to come and get this, but I think there's a loot over here. Okay, large silver dessert perks. And I don't think there was anything here, but I'm so close I might as well just you know, get the shortcut. Honestly, a bit surprised I haven't had another invader, because I've been, I mean, embered up and, uh, you know, we're still just trucking along. Almost reached the Orlando. Alright, I'm getting all the pyromancy tomes all of a sudden. I'd say this looks like a good spot to wrap things up. Um, moving forward, we still got to go through Orlando, and that'll take a while. So I think we close things on out right here, and we will pick this one on up tomorrow. So, uh, once again, hope you guys had a good Christmas. We will see you tomorrow. I'll be, uh, you know, I'm recording all these in advance, of course. So. Even though the holidays are coming up, there will not be a break in episodes for those that want to sit home and just binge watch the hell out of Dark Souls all day. Welcome anyway, home, thanks for coming by, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.